Splat! My name is Anthony Lloyd and I was a programmer on Croc. So when I started on Croc, we were uh, we we actually started it from the very beginning. Um, there was nothing, no work at all before that point. At the very beginning on Croc, there was myself, Lewis Gordon, and Nick Cusworth. When we came up with the idea for a character, I think we went through a few iterations. We wanted something that was like upright, walked on two feet, um, and was instantly recognisable. I think the team grew not that quickly. I remember we had um, an animator, then um, we needed artists, but it was quite a small team at all, all times. It was never a massive team. It, in, in fact, I think we, we stayed in the room we started in. So the room, I don't know how big it was, but it wasn't a, gr a massive room. And maybe at the peak, it had 20 people in it, maximum, if that. Croc development was different to a lot of projects at Argonaut at the time, because yes, it, it was really inclusive, as in what people could do. And because anybody could just start you know, their own little level and play around and just make, make ideas. They didn't need to you know, get a programmer, they could just you know, I don't want to, platform after platform after platform after platform. And before you know it, you've got like just the world's longest platform section in the game. And, that, and that's probably on the disc because somebody, you know, we played it and thought, that's actually good fun. The way we divided work is before that, there was, I mostly worked on my own uh, on projects because it's on the uh, snares and the Amiga days. It was one program that did everything, but we could now, Divide the work between us based on what our, you know, what we were actually good at. So I was, yeah, I'd had a lot of experience in writing, um, like assembly, which used instructions to like read instruction. It would you know, move left for eight hundred units, and I thought oh, we you know, we could use this for our strategy language, and. From, and Lewis was he was really good at 3D and he you know he'd done a lot of uh, maths at uni and things like that. I only had, I, I never went to university, so I was just good at gameplay as well. So yeah, that's how we split that work up. And I mean, we and we used to work a lot of hours. I mean, we used to everybody was there till very late at night. Yeah, you know, sometimes overnight we did work overnight a fair amount of times. At weekends we used to do a lot of weekends as well. And we really loved what we was doing. So there'd be a bunch of people in. I don't, yeah, I don't think we would just intentionally just, just ignore the deadlines. We just wanted it to be really, really good. You know, the, the best we could make it. And we were really having fun as well. That's the other thing. It was such a fun project to work on. Uh, yeah, the amount of hours. I was, we were all fairly young, I believe. How old would I have been? In, the tw in my 20s. I think we all were. I mean, we were roughly the same age. I'd probably play, I mean, I'd like to play Croc 1 again, just to see, especially if, you know, it's now got new controls, can't wait for that, I'll be able to play it.